In less than 24 hours, Bitcoin bulls break to a $9,500 target that we talked about in yesterday's video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you two targets that you need to be prepared for in the immediate future. What is up, everyone? Thanks for coming by Crypto Capital Ca Venture. Crypto Capital Venture. Dude, these last two days, hit the subscribe, like, turn those notification bells on, everybody. I appreciate you. I've been recruiting a lot, trying to grow this recruiting business. And when I'm doing these videos, I get a little bit distracted, everybody. So forgive me. Everyone, before we start this video, I want to look at a clip from yesterday for really good context to what is happening with Bitcoin right now. Check it out. So this Fibonacci retracement, the 618 to 786, broken. You can see immediate resistance at that 50 moving average we just talked about. This symmetrical triangle, very short term, that Bitcoin fell into in the last few days has a breakout target of 9471, let's just call it $9,500. That is above the 50 moving average. There's a very, very strong possibility that tonight Bitcoin continues in this upward trend that it's currently in and continues to that. So there we are. Well, there we go, everybody. It happened. I, that was literally a video from last night. You can see what happened. Bitcoin did, in fact, see continuation to the upside. We got the breakout target, right? Right around, the target was 94.70. Right now we're trading around 94.50. 94 so we hit our target perfectly. There's some resistance, and this is what I want to talk about. And I'll throw, it, I'll throw it out at you. This is what you want to look out for the short term. Targets are targets. Confirmation is when targets are hit and broken. So to the upside, we have a target right around 9681. I'm going to discuss why that is. And a target to the downside around 8827. I'm going to discuss why that is. So here's our symmetrical triangle. We broke out of it. We hit our target out of the symmetrical triangle. But another thing that happened is we hit a short-term Fibonacci retracement. Um, we, we had a confirmation of upward momentum for the bulls. We broke this short-term Fibonacci retracement resistance, right? We know that happened. But what I'm looking at on a larger larger term scale is a different Fibonacci retracement. And that is our larger symmetrical triangle that you see on the screen. It's that previous swing high at, at the upper trend line to this previous swing low and now we're looking at a new fibonacci retracement we have right up here where we have this 9681 target that is the 786 of this fibonacci we are hitting this entire channel resistance perfectly right now it's confluent with our symmetrical triangle breakout right our breakout target that we talked about around 9470 9500 we're in a heavy resistance area right now the target we're looking for is right around 9681. We can call it like $9,700. This could be a new lower high in this longer term symmetrical triangle we've been tracking. Now, that is a target, a break through this area. Very bullish. That would be a very bullish video if it happens, but we have to reach our target first. And right now you can see the resistance ahead of us in the very short term. So wanted to throw the bullish target out there for you now what i want to do is look look to the downside right what is this 8827 target that we have down here very important we know in terms of symmetrical triangles we have a 60 what is it a 62 percent breakout or i should say throwback target right so out of a symmetrical triangle 62 percent of the time we see throwbacks so a throwback out of this symmetrical triangle Simply put, looks like this, Bitcoin hitting its targets and then being thrown back to the apex of the symmetrical triangle. This happens very often. This is not bearish. A throwback to the apex of the symmetrical triangle currently, right, right down here around $8,800 is not bearish. Oftentimes you have throwbacks to the symmetrical triangle apex for continuation of the bulls, right? Another thing to look at at that area in terms of that $8,800 area is the swing low 
from that symmetrical triangle to a swing high breakout target we just had, look what sits right at the apex of that triangle. That is the 786 support area for Bitcoin, right around 8827. So there's a lot of confluent support down there for Bitcoin. Bitcoin could very well visit this area, see support and see continuation for an for an eventual breakout of this longer term symmetrical triangle. These things take patience. These are stepping stones. We track it. We see our targets hit and then we watch what happens. So right now we have an upside target. We're watching right now in real time resistance at all of these levels we talked about. The other thing that I want to talk about is besides the throwback, I want to talk about on the weekly chart. Now, this may be a more bullish video. We're talking about a bullish breakout that we just had in 9,500. We're talking about bullish continuation. I want to throw this out there. At all times, whether I share it with you or not, even if it's a very bullish video with a bullish headline, I'm always considering a Bitcoin pullback scenario. And right now, for a good amount of time, this scenario has, has been displayed on the weekly chart. And it's very simple. This is our Fibonacci retracement from our weekly swing low in March to our previous swing high resistance that we've gotten right around 10,000 most recently in the last month with a pullback, right, to this Fibonacci retracement. And this would be a, lo a higher low on this longer term, very long term, years symmetrical triangle. That is always 100% in the back of my mind. It's 100% in play. And it actually always starts, right? The, the scenario always starts with these little targets, these little patterns that we're watching, even this one, right? If Bitcoin broke after I did yesterday's video, back through this symmetrical triangle to the downside, and then we're testing this lower trend line, right? That actually extends all the way back to March and we're breaking through that. If that happened in the last 24 hours and we're trading at $8,300, that is the very beginning stages of Bitcoin potentially on its way down on the weekly charts, right? To this target of $6,200 down to like $5,100. It's always in play. If you don't realize that, you have to realize that. And I do want to share it with you, even in bullish videos, because we just, we have to wait for confirmations, but the possibilities are always there. Um, so, in regards to the very short term, again, everybody, we have these two targets. I'm just updating you right now as it's happening, right? We have a 9681 target. It's the upper end of the symmetrical triangle. And we have a potential throwback scenario for Bitcoin after hitting this immediate resistance right now down to 8827. That is the apex of this triangle we just broke out for. Very normal if it happens. We see if there's support there and then we see if Bitcoin can bounce for bullish continuation, that often happens in these patterns. Lastly, on the daily chart, I do just want to show you the daily oscillators. Talked about it briefly in yesterday's video. Daily oscillators looking fine in terms of is there upward momentum for Bitcoin right now? You can see the RSI trading right around 57. This is a slower moving. It's a reliable. It's probably the most reliable uh, indicator momentum oscillator for Bitcoin to give us a sense of is Bitcoin overbought? Is it oversold? Right now, it's nothing, right? And there's a ton of room for upside continuation for Bitcoin, right? So that's the RSI, quicker moving momentum oscillator, still just kind of barely coming out of this oversold area. So on this quicker moving momentum oscillator, the stock RSI, again, a ton of room, ton of upside. And then lastly, I do want to point out, and I'll expand this so you can see it a little better, the MACD. We did have a MACD cross right? This was May 10th. This was like 18 days ago. And you see, we had this downward momentum. You look at that histogram, but right now we see a MACD line kind of cruising back around. Now you don't have to get a MACD cross always below the histogram down here. That's bullish looking MACD cross. That's mid March, right? You can get these MACD crosses above the histogram. And right now you see the histogram momentum kind of turning back up. You see a potential MACD line cruising up there, towards that signal line, that, that, that red line, and maybe we get a MACD cross, right? And that will basically lead us on the daily charts to a bullish breakout of this larger symmetrical triangle that everybody is really hoping Bitcoin breaks through with a breakout target 
really 12,000 plus. So that's what we're looking for. We're very close to that happening. But at the end of the day, are we going to put in a new lower high here on the symmetrical triangle? And is this going to keep playing out for a bounce back down into the 8,000s? We track it. We wait for our targets to be hit and our confirmations to be had. I appreciate you coming by. If Bitcoin continues to move, I'll do another video today. We'll see what it does. If you're hearing it as a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. Hit the like button. Turn those notification bells on. I appreciate you coming by. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day and God bless.